Hi Trekkers, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be building a DIY super cheap badminton court. It is very easy to build. All you need is two sticks, a string of yarn, some truck, and two rackets. Also, a birdie. You may be wondering, why would I pick badminton as my home sport? There's actually a few good reasons. Number one, you can do it at home very easily. We're gonna be talking about that in this video and we're also gonna be talking about how to actually build a court. It's very simple and you just need a few cheap materials. Another great thing about badminton is that it's fun for the whole entire family. All, people who are older can play, people who are younger can play, and it's very easy to play as long as you're not playing against one of those people you see on TV. I don't even understand how they play that well. Even my brother, who is six years old, plays badminton. Check it out. Anybody up for a game of badminton? Me. Let's go. Also, other great reasons to pick badminton as a sport. One of them being is you cannot break windows with badminton. The birdies are very soft and they don't break windows, which is great, and it's a huge relief. There's also other easy things about badminton courts, such as you don't need an even surface. It isn't like tennis where the uh, ball sort of bounces off the ground and if it doesn't hit on a flat surface it goes in a random direction. Badminton birdies do not bounce on the ground, they actually go up into the air which is why the net is so high. This is what a badminton birdie is like and as you can see they don't break windows. Inside of here is actually cork which can break windows and over here is very soft like you can squish it and also the birdie does not break very easily whatsoever. It's pretty easy to buy, they're pretty cheap and all around, it's a great time. Another great thing about badminton is the court is very small, so you don't need a huge area of land to actually build one. All you need is a small area that is relatively flat. After they go over the net, they tend to fall down, which is a great thing because you don't have to worry about them going next door or if your neighbors have a wall, you don't have to worry about getting it back from them. It's just gonna land right over there and you can pick it up, it's super easy. One thing that is a concern is that these things really do like to land in trees. So if you are, land, if you are playing in a place that has trees, just like us, it will land on the tree's leaves. And there's a few great things to deal with this. One of them being a long, long pipe. It's pretty easy, but not everybody has one. The alternative to using a long and plastic pipe is using a soccer ball. And what you can do is you just chuck it straight up and it uh, hits the branch and then the birdie falls out. You might have to do it a few times because sometimes you miss and other times the birdie just goes further into the tree. Sometimes the birdie even gets nestled into the tree which is a pretty, pretty big problem. There was this one time our birdie got stuck in there and we had to wait until the next day where we had to find the pipe and we had to like kind of poke it out slowly slowly because it was like nestled in there into like a tiny crevice so if you don't have trees that do that or that doesn't happen soccer balls are a great alternative to the long pipe the supplies for badminton are actually really simple all you need are two rackets we got these from this awesome sporting store which i forgot the name of but it's pretty awesome i think it was something like d thank you mom decathlon <laughs> Um, they sell everything there. They sell archery, they sell these badminton rackets, which are really cool, and they were really cheap. We got a pair for $13, and it also came with two birdies, which was amazing. However, they will be cheaper on Amazon, and I will put a link to these awesome rackets down below. Another thing you're definitely going to need for badminton is a birdie. You don't need two, you just need one, but you have to, if you have one, you got to take really good care of it because they are very easy to lose if you don't have a place for them. Another thing that is very easy to get and you're probably going to need for badminton is chalk. Chalk seems to be the easiest if you have a driveway or something like that. 
if you are in fact going to make a proper badminton court, you are going to need some measuring tape. You generally need some pretty long measuring tape. The longest measurement, I think, is 44 feet. If you do have a small measuring tape, you just make small marks wherever, and you just kind of add them up, I suppose. But if you do not want to use a measuring tape, you do not have to. All you have to do is hit the birdie over the net if you don't actually want to make the badminton courts. Just divide whatever space you have by half and start playing. Another thing you may want is a net. Uh, the nets can generally be found in a sporting store or you can buy one on Amazon. We will have a link to one on Amazon and they seem to be pretty cheap as in Kenya stuff is generally more expensive and we got one for 1300 shillings which is actually very very cheap. P.S. My mom also says you can crochet one. But there's the other part of if you do not have or do not want to buy a net. This is perfectly fine and all you can use is a string or a piece of ribbon. The specific height for a badminton net is actually 1.55 meters. So you don't have to worry about using a ladder or a stool to hang it up. If you are going to measure out your badminton cords, these are the measurements. Here are the measurements for badminton. They are very helpful and these are the proper ones. I will put a link to these measurements down below in the description box because it might be a bit too tiny to read. The badminton court will be in length 44 feet or in other words 13.41 meters. The width of the badminton court is going to be 20 feet by 6.1 meters. Our width of our badminton court is actually a bit narrower because that's the width of our driveway and we don't actually have more space to deal with. The net as expected will be exactly halfway through the court, or 22 feet on both sides. On each side of the net, there's also, in theory, two more lines that you're going to need. On one side of the net, you'll need one line, and again, on the other side of the net, you'll need one line. It is about two meters away, or in exact terms, 1.98 meters, or you could use 6.5 feet, which is about 6.5 feet, because it's a 0.5. In the center, on the center line, by the way, you will need two sticks on both sides. You will need one stick over here and one stick over there to hang the net horizontally and it will be the width. today's video if you did be sure to hit the thumbs up i'd love to get to know you so leave a comment down below don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any awesome content just like this hope you guys enjoyed the video see you in the next trick <laughs> <laughs>